Concern tonight over a new cell phone app. It's called Beauty Mirror, and it changes the features on your face. Arlise Coulter is live in our studio to explain how it works and why some parents are concerned. Elise. Jack and Deborah, it's a free app you can download onto your smartphone and it takes a picture of your face and then alters your features like these here to make them think to make them what they think looks better. And that has parents concerned for their kids. We took the app called Beauty Mirror to a local park and showed parents as they watch their kids play. Oh, <laughs> I just made it whiter, better. Pam Wessel shows us what it says her face could look like with a little touch up. And there's that compare button. Add a little here, take a little from there, and of course, what every woman wants. It just smooths out your lines and wrinkles. And after using it. I will say I don't think it does anything for my self image. I have a daughter as well, and I don't, um, I don't think I'd want her messing with it. The concern is what the app tells you you should look like, and for me it says thinner cheeks, a thinner nose, and higher eyebrows could influence a girl's self-esteem. My issue with this kind of thing is that it, it, tends, it could tend to make people not accept the way they are. Rita Rogers also tried the app out on her face. It can also make you think, oh my gosh, I'm really chunky here, my chin is doing this, my cheeks are... Rita is comfortable with who she is, but worries about her 10-year-old granddaughter. If she were to do this, she would tend to think, I'm not okay, I need to do something to change myself. All parents fear the pressure from society to be something we're not is too much. But those we spoke to hope young girls won't give in to it. They need to look inside and see what the real beauty is because that's just what, I mean, that's just what the world's telling them and what some app designer is telling them not really what they really look like. Now the app can only be downloaded on Apple's iPhone 5S. Jack, Deborah, back to you.